Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you can collaborate on a Word document with other people without needing to send attachments back and forth. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that. Now in the past, if you've wanted to collaborate on a document with others, you needed to send an attachment back and forth. And what typically tends to happen is someone might say document one, then someone responds with their edits and it's document two, and maybe someone else had a version of the document, document three, and then you have to merge them all together and you just end up in this really bad situation of different versions and basically just a versioning mess. Luckily with Microsoft Word, but also Excel and PowerPoint, you can now work together on a document that's in the cloud. And so you could all work on that document in real time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you step by step how you could do this in Word, but these same things apply to the other Office apps. All right, well, enough talk. Why don't we jump in Word and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, well, here I am on my PC and I have a document up here. And what I am trying to do today is I want to pull together a speech for one of my best friends and her wedding. This is Stephanie and her wedding's coming up and I need to write a speech. The only trouble is I don't actually have that much down yet. I could use some help from some of my friends who also know Stephanie just to make sure that I write the best possible speech. Now right now if I move Word over a little bit you'll see that the document is on my desktop. So right now uh, in the past what I would have done is if I needed help on this document I would have emailed it to someone uh, and then they would have made some edits and they, they would send it back but especially if I'm going to have multiple people doing that it becomes very complicated. So what, what I want to do is I want to get other people to help me with this. Well the best way to do that is I need to get this document into the cloud so we could all work on the same version of the file. So this version right here on my desktop, this is referred to as a local copy because it's local to my computer. A cloud copy, that's something that everyone can access. That's one of the benefits of putting a file in the cloud. Not only is it safer in the cloud because if something happens to my PC, I would lose this file on my desktop, but also other people can access it as long as I give them permission to access it. And then we can work on that file together all at the same time. And to do that within Microsoft Word, and this is the, this is the most current version of Word that comes with Microsoft 365, uh, there is an option up here in the top right hand corner that says share. So share this document and see who it's shared with. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And now what it says is please upload a copy of your document to OneDrive to share it with others. So if I want to share this document, I need to put it in the cloud. And what I could do is once I upload it, I could remove the copy or the local file that's on my computer. Now this probably makes sense because otherwise if I have one in the cloud, I have one on my computer, it might get confusing because I have multiple copies of the file. So I'm going to check that box and get rid of the copy on my computer once I put it in the cloud. Now it also gives you the option to attach the file as either a PDF or as a word attachment to email uh, but once again you could end up in uh, version with versioning issues where you know one person makes updates and then that doesn't match your version so instead what I want to do is let's get this file in the cloud and to do that I'm going to select this account here and what it's going to do now is it's going to upload this file to OneDrive now it's shared the file to OneDrive and what it does now or now that it's placed the file in OneDrive I now have the ability to share this file with others and so I have a few different options in terms of the permissions that I can set here so I'm going to click on this so what I could do is anyone with the link could edit it or maybe only people in my organization can edit it uh, or here down below I could also allow editing or maybe I can make it read only so other people can't edit it. You could also set an expiration date on when they won't have access anymore. You could even set a password to a file or you could prevent downloading of the file. So there are lots of different controls you could set but I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to allow other people to edit and I'm also going to say anyone with the link can edit uh, because I'm going to just have a few of my friends come in and help me with this document so I don't need to set anything too fancy. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply these settings. And what this does now is I could type in an email address of someone I want to send it with and then Microsoft will send an email to that person with a link to the document. 
what I can also do is I could simply copy the link to the document. So let's say I want to send it uh, in Messenger, maybe I want to post it on Facebook or somewhere else. I could go ahead and take this URL uh, and then they can access the document. So now the file is in the cloud. And what I want to show is I'm going to open up my browser just to show you where the file went. I'm on a website, office.com. This is how I could get to all of my different Office uh, and Microsoft 365 apps. And so on office.com, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into OneDrive. This is where I could see all of the files that I have saved in the cloud. Within my OneDrive account, what I can see now is here I have my Stephanie wedding speech. So it's uploaded it to my main files view within OneDrive. And this is the file that I want to work on with others. Now, once it's uploaded my file to OneDrive, not only can I share directly from Word, but one of the things I could do is right here next to the name of the file, I also have the ability to share it from here. And the exact same dialogue that I saw in Word pops up here within OneDrive also allowing me to share the file. Uh, but I already have the URL. So what I'm gonna do now is let's pretend that I'm one of Kevin's friends and Kevin has asked me for help with the speech because he's having trouble writing it. Uh, so I am happy to assist. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in the URL uh, that I just generated when I shared the file. And so this is gonna now open up the Word document. Uh, so here's the Word document. And what I can do now is I could start adding to the speech. So we got to, so here I'm gonna start typing. And what I wanna show is I'm gonna open up uh, this document, which uh, my friend or Kevin's friend is now editing. And I'm gonna open that up alongside Kevin's copy right here, or the original copy here in the desktop app. And uh, so one of these is on the web, one of these is in the desktop app. And what I wanna show now is as I start typing here, uh, so what I'll say is we got to know uh, each other in English class. We So what you'll see here is as I start typing uh, within this window, so this is uh, say my friend who's typing something here in the original window, I could see all of the edits that are happening in real time. Up here in the ribbon as well, I could see who else is within the document. In this case, I just have a guest contributor. Uh, but if one of say my friends logged in uh, with their account, I'd also be able to see who exactly is within the document. All right, well that was just a quick tutorial of how you can work together with others on a document in real time. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this isn't just limited to Microsoft Word. You could also use it with Excel. You could also use it with PowerPoint. Uh, you could go ahead, you could share your file with others. Uh, and then you can work together on content so you don't just have to work alone in isolation. Anyway, if this video showed you how you could collaborate with others on documents, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other videos that you wanna see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I also hope to see you next time. Bye.